Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are and whatever time it is, I hope you are having a good one. Welcome back to House Flipper 2 with Rash Decision. If you enjoy this type of content, please leave me a like, subscribe, and maybe even a comment to let me know. Enjoy the video. Alright, and we're back with another mod review. This one, we are looking at Dark Old Cottage by, and I do apologize if I mispronounce your name, Maritza. I believe that's how you would say that, Maritza. Um, this one is, uh, this one is another one that was posted just today. And I promise you, I'm not just looking for the ones that are posted on Friday. It just so happens for whatever reason, this Friday and last Friday, I saw one and I just loved it. And of course, I wait until today, for, uh, until uh, Thursday, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Thursday to do these to make sure that I can get as many of them in there as I can to look through. And when I looked through all of them, I saw the one for Dunkin' Donuts, and I saw the one for The Haunted House, but I've done uh, a horror one too recently, and I've done, uh, you know, the... Uh, the modern one so i didn't want to do another modern aesthetic like a like a commercial district yet so this one really kind of won out just because of what it is more or less this one's actually a, a proper cottage out in the middle of the woods and because of that it immediately caught my attention it has everything in it that uh that i like it has a lot of earth tones it has a lot of uh uh, a lot of greenery to it. Uh, I love this. I love this color scheme. I can't get enough of it. And I do apologize. I am actually having a little bit of trouble with my sinuses this week, so I'm sure you may have heard a little bit of it in the uh, the part one of the houseboat flip. But today I'm having a really hard time talking, and I think it's just because of the changing weather. I'm not sure if I have allergies or not. I've always been told no, they're just bad sinuses, and I would agree with that because my sinuses feel very, very stuffy right now. But we're going to try to get through this as it is. Uh, we want to get into this. We're going to have a look around, and then we're going to go ahead and do the job, and we'll talk about it afterward. Let's get in here. All right. And there's our first impression, again, from the uh, pictures we saw as we go around to the side. It looks like it's actually up on a little hill. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a weird little bit of landscaping you got there. It, it definitely feels like a lot of time and effort was put into giving it a presentation from the front, but not really too much thought was put into what it looks like from behind. And I would like to see a little bit more to that, especially got this big blank wall. You absolutely could put like a back door back here and really dress this up a little bit better. But I'm going to overlook it because I understand what they were going for and they did an excellent job out here. So I feel like there is the potential there for the developer to really fix up that back area. But other than that, the outside looks absolutely wonderful. I love this rock chimney. I love uh, this oversized cobblestone. Oh, I love all of this. Everything here. Uh, even like the little decorative bit in the eave for the, for, I don't even know if you would call that a support because all it's really doing is just being decorative. Uh, it was, you know, <clears throat> yeah, there's not really a reason for that to be there. It's pure decorative, but even so, it looks like it could, it could support the roof at least a little bit. I uh, got another one up there and, uh I love this, like the little window right there that kind of looks out over. Yeah, that's this is this is the good stuff. I like this. Looks like we have some stuff out here to buy, but we'll go inside. We'll have a look around first, because it looks like there's not much to do. Oh, that's right, I forgot about the uh, the update. So there was an update. Uh, I believe it was yesterday. I looked at it a little bit, but I didn't really have a lot of time yesterday due to some other stuff I had going on. So, uh, yeah, you can light fireplaces, you can light candles now. I love it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, developers. That's something I've been asking for since day one, if you remember correctly. Uh, I went into the PC house first day, and the first thing I tried to do was light the fireplace, and I couldn't. And I got really, really frustrated because of it. So let's have a look here. I can already tell we're going to need to redo the kitchen. It looks like uh, that's part of what the uh, developer wants us to do. 
so we'll kind of move around here. Yeah, it looks like there's a little bit to do in here, but not much. They're just wanting us to make little tiny changes. I love the ceiling. I've thought about doing a ceiling like this a couple of times, but I felt like it was a little bit too much. But I like it in this context because it matches the outside. It works really well. Got the stone with the uh, hanging vines over here. Very, very nice touch. Oh! Oh, I like this! Oh, I like this. And we got the curtains as well. Oh, that's right, they added curtains too. I forgot about that. Oh, man. Everything about this house is just... I love it. I can't get enough of it. All these earth tones are really speaking to me. Nice big vaulted ceiling. Everything about this house is absolutely awesome. Oh, now I feel bad because I feel like I need to go find something to, to, to fuss about. I mean... But I can't. <laughs> this is all stuff I would do. I see we're going to have to replace the floor, it looks like. But yes, this is a house I would build. The stone behind the uh, the countertop is a little bit too rough. This really wouldn't work well as a backsplash because it would be very, very difficult to clean if anything got on it. All right. Yeah, it looks like we are uh, at the point where we need to get started. I don't see anything else I need to look at. Then out here on the balcony, got a nice little... Oh, I didn't even see this. This is awesome. Oh, that's an awesome idea. I'm going to steal that. I am definitely going to steal that idea. Little garden out here. I love it. Anyway. Wait. There's no door here. Oh, because the space is too narrow. Oh, oh that's frustrating. Really needs a door there. That's really frustrating. But anyway, let's go ahead and we will get started. See you on the other side.
All right, that's all there is for it. So let's go ahead and go back in. There is a little bit I want to talk about in the kitchen especially. I'm sure you saw when I was doing the uh, the work, I had to place the kitchen, and then I had to sell it, and then place it again. <laughs> um, that has a lot to do with the fact that the wall needed to be redone, but that wasn't immediately apparent. All I saw in my reticule over to the left was that I needed to buy items. So that's what I thought I needed to do in this room. And I didn't notice until I opened the wheel that I needed to both clean and uh, finish the surfaces. And when I saw what surfaces I needed to finish, I had to get the cabinets out of the way to be able to do that. Um, there's an opportunity for improvement there. Uh, they, I really don't want to say that it's a bad design, but... It's, it would be better for player experience coming in and doing this job as a player if um, only the backsplash was being replaced. That way, if someone did accidentally place you know, the cabinets already, they don't have to get rid of them to do the entire wall. It's better to do the entire wall, but it would be better for player experience if it was just the backsplash that was being replaced. Um, the other thing for the kitchen is, and I do apologize, this is bad design. These cabinets are way too high. You would have to be 10 feet tall to get up into these. Like, look at this. I'm standing on the countertop and I'm only just barely able to get into it now. Uh, these cabinets definitely need to be brought down some. And when I do apologize, I forgot I moved this over here when I was... Uh, fixing the kitchen so we'll go ahead and put that back here um those cabinets should really be about like right here uh like right down here um if you've ever noticed my rule of thumb is three blocks high that's 24 inches that's actually the standard building code for the bottom of hanging cabinets to be above the countertop so 24 inches above the countertop is where hanging cabinets should start you can go above that, but only in very specific circumstances where you don't need to interact with the ceiling, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, this much would be way out of spec. Any building inspector would come in here, look at this and say, no, take those down, do it again. And they would ask you to bring them down here, you know, 24 inches, like I said. That's usually where most builders are going to put them because that's just easy to reach, that sort of thing. So we're going to grab this one and show you what I mean. Um, I'm going to come down here to, and it looks like it's not going to let me, probably because that plant is there. Uh, let's grab the, the corner. Uh, if I come down to 24 inches, so you see the dots on the left, we go one, two, and then three above the, uh, the countertop. This is where you're supposed to be because that's just easy to reach it lines up well with the uh uh the range hood that sort of thing this up here uh i'm gonna leave it as is because i could tell that's what the developer intended but yeah those cabinets are way too high um the other thing is here in the kitchen this window uh it feels like the wrong window was used here because not only would this interfere with the cabinets trying to come down because we look here like uh cabinets would be like right about here They'd be covering up that window, just like how the uh, base cabinets are for the base of the window. Um, yeah, this window really should be brought up and be uh, have its sill be level with the countertop and be short enough to come underneath those cabinets or have cabinets like the, uh, the reduced uh, height ones that you use for like uh, refrigerators that can kind of go over this area. Um, <clears throat> I really didn't want to find anything wrong with this house, but this part really bothers me. Everything else about this house, I can't get enough of this aesthetic. This is a wonderful, wonderfully decorated house. Everything about it is cool. It's cozy. Everything is cool. This kitchen bothers me. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention is I really noticed there was like this aesthetic of like the hidden library thing. Um, <clears throat> and believe me, in my time, I've definitely known a lot of people that would love this aesthetic. But there's some things that just 
bugged me a little bit. Uh, for example, having the shelf in the bathroom be populated with books. Uh, you know what? More power to you. I would be terrified of dropping them into the bath. I'm just going to say that right there. And, you know, we got like the books out here. We've got uh, we got the books in like the dining room, you know, uh, it's just a little bit of everywhere. We've got something somewhere for somebody to read. But um, there again, when I'm talking about like this wall, this this bottom wall back here being completely blank, uh, it kind of bugged me. There was no um, there's no window in the bathroom. And besides that, this right here would have been a perfect place to actually put a, uh, a back door and then move this shelf kind of like over here in some way, shape, or fashion. Uh, but I have to say, I do like that shelf. I like where it is. I like that shelf. That place was, honestly, probably was actually made for it. But the lack of a back door is kind of weird in this house because you have, like, all this open, big space and then nothing to do with it, I guess is the best way to put it. So, and I, and I feel like a back door would have made for something to do with the space. At least something. So we got like all this big open light. We have all this up here. If we had a way that kind of like uh, flowed through, I feel like it would improve the house a little bit, but it, it would be completely optional. I wouldn't even, it wouldn't bother me at all. The developer of this uh, mod threw my advice out the window for the door because it's literally just something I would do, but it doesn't bother me that they didn't. It would, it would I just feel like it would improve what we have here but i will say developer if you're listening don't take it personally <laughs> i'm just a guy on the internet that just has an opinion but please if you do another version of this mod rethink this kitchen that's all i'm asking you to do everything else about this house is absolutely fantastic i cannot get enough of this aesthetic you have done wonderfully with this aesthetic just Please do something about that kitchen because it is one glaring blemish on what should be a perfect house, at least in my opinion. So that's actually going to cut it out for this one. Uh, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Have a good one. Cheers.